Hey, many fish. It is the 17th of November, 2020. I do pray you're all well. Navigating the madness. But I got an unction to share this with you. Uh, as a subscriber shared this article with me, November 17th, 2020, telling us that Israel may see 7-11 pretty soon. Now, the way I saw this is the 7-11 immediately made me think of Genesis 7-11, where which the judgment of God was unleashed upon the earth in the form of a flood, and judgment was brought upon the earth. 7-11, judgment may be on its way to Israel. Oh, it is. But a remnant will be saved. Reports say popular 24-7 convenience store in advanced talks with Israel's Fox Group? Fox 666? And, I mean, we could go into so many different aspects of this. It's crazy, man. But this is definitely telegraphing something to release this on November 17th from Israel's Fox Group, right? Now, now get a load of this because it doesn't stop there. The Texas-based 7-Eleven, which operates some 71,000 stores in 17 countries. Now, think about that. If you research the number 17 in regards to the Kabbalah and Freemasonry and the occult mystery religions, you'll find the 17 is a very big number. On top of that is if you add the 71 and the 17, which are mirror, you get the 88, which equates us directly back to Trump or the tribute in light on 9-11, the 88 beams of light. Because I was down there, down on 7-Eleven, down at the World Trade Center, right after it came down. This is very interesting. And the 17, biblically speaking, is victory. It is a number of victory. It is also the triangular number of the 153, the 153 fish. Okay? But they're famous for being open 24-7, seven days a week, and giving out free Slurpees every 7-Eleven. And it goes on. But it was just put upon me to share this with you. There's no accident here. They didn't come out with this by accident. On the same day that Obama is releasing his new book, A Promised Land, on the 322nd day of the year, which is also 46 weeks, Obama, Psalm 46, 9-11, 2011. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. 7-Eleven in Israel. Trump, 88. Trump, 7-Eleven back in 2016. Because I was down there, down on 7-Eleven, down at the World Trade Center, right after it came down. He was down there at 7-Eleven. The judgment card, the Trump card. You understand? The judgment is coming in this false light that's being brought forth in this world. Somebody said to me the other day, you're the most famous person in the world by far. I said, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. They said, yes, you are. I said, no. They said, who's more famous? I said, Jesus Christ. I'm not taking any chances. I'm not going to have an argument. Hey. I'm not having any arguments. Jesus Christ. I'm not going to take any chances. I'll give it, I guarantee. And let me look up and I'll say, and it's not even close. <laughs> is going to produce its own form of judgment. And they're going to fool a lot of people that they will absolutely ensnare you. Trump said, I was down there on 7-Eleven back on April 18th of 2016. Again, you know, four years, six months ago, 239 weeks, the 923. Think about this. I mean, on 418, which, I mean, just the numbers associated are 
off the charts 1674 days ago six and one seven seven and four eleven it's just all over the place and we go to the concordance with these ones in the hebrew it's anxiety or heaviness fear and sorrow in the greek it means greek or a non-jewish gentile you can find that in mark 726 ironically enough this is all to do with the genes the dna how god sees us that's why the devil wants to corrupt our genetic makeup. I mean, it literally is his last-ditch effort. The serpent, the viper, which is exactly the model used to implement this DNA third strand through this micro-needle patch that will be offered to the world at some point in the not-so-distant future. If you willingly acquiesce to the evil this world is pushing, then you might as well say goodbye to your free will and your very soul. Think about this. Warp speed. Okay, they're using a software, an AI software called Tiberius to track this vaccine rollout. And it's a program by the company Palantir which is just crazy if you look into that. But Tiberius is the name of this tracking program. He was the emperor during the time of Jesus Christ. Essentially, you could put him as responsible for his crucifixion. And he was the emperor known as the God for 23 years. Tiberius, Pilate's boss, right? Now think about this. Warp speed, that comes straight from Star Trek. And what was the captain's name in Star Trek? James Tiberius Kirk. This vaccine is the blockchains of everlasting darkness. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. Think about this, Genesis 6, when it talks about how men were corrupt and there was nothing but violence and god had to bring judgment but he chose noah genesis 6 9 noah was perfect in his genes his generations why was the flood brought upon the earth because of the corruption of the flesh of the dna of the geno which is the word nation this is what they're all about man and then on the same day today the Musk's dragon docks with the ISS, which is literally 9-11 in numerology. This all connects back to the 9-11 again. This is still an ongoing ritual. It's the mother load that they're building towards here, but they can do nothing until God allows it. So now is the day of salvation. You understand? Call on the name of Jesus if you do not know him with a sincere, humble heart, knowing that you cannot save yourself out of any of this. He did it all. You understand? Defeated death. Call on him. Time is very short. And another thing that led me to share this with you was my random Bible verse today. Totally random. And I don't think I've ever gotten this Bible verse randomly. Ephesians 6, 11 through 13. The very thing God put upon my heart to put at the end of my videos. And this is no accident either. God bless you all. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,